Hi, I'm Lana. Welcome to our latest series of Singapore culture videos for tour guides. Today we're going to talk about coffee in Singapore. When you take your guests around at Coffee ATM and see freshly brewed coffee pulling through a sock, they may wonder, what's happening? We have provided a handout for you before the session. So did you get your answers from there? Let's start with two simple questions first. Please key in your answers so that we all can see it. First question, what does copy mean in Singapore? A. Hot dog B. Coffee C. Burger Or D. Milo Yes, the answer is copy. And next question is, which language down below is the word copy derived from? A. Hainanese dialect B. Malay C. Mandarin Or D. Cantonese Ta da The answer is B. Malay. Did you get your answers right? If not, no worries. We're gonna start our journey of coffee starting from coffee history to a wide variety of coffee types. Dating back to late 18th centuries, the Western colonizers arrived in Southeast Asia and brought coffee with them. The unique aroma of coffee soon gathered widespread popularity. The colonizers left, but coffee stayed. As time goes by, Coffee is getting more popular among Singaporeans with different cultural backgrounds. Sudai, Gao, Kosong. But if you're new to Singapore, nothing is harder than perfectly ordering a cup of coffee. So let's quickly go through some key information that you need to know before ordering. Having a sip of freshly brewed coffee is a local way to start a morning in Singapore. Speaking of which, what are the possible components in a Singaporean coffee? Sugar? Coffee, evaporated milk, condensed milk, ice, and even butter. What different combinations you could pamper your palate with it? Let's start with the three most common types of coffee in Singapore, which is coffee, coffee O, and coffee C. Coffee originated from Malay language. It's simply brewed coffee with condensed milk. If you want to have it black, go for coffee O. Ordering coffee C you're getting coffee with evaporated milk. There are several terms related to sugar level that you may also need to know. Sudai, Gadai, and Kosong. Sudai, derived from Cantonese, meaning less sugar. Watering down coffee with a small hint of sugar is coffee sudai. For those having a sweet tooth, you may want more sugar. That's coffee Gadai. So how about no sugar? Kosong is a perfect choice. Kosong from Malay means zero. In recent years, Singapore Health Promotion Board is promoting a less sugar, healthier lifestyle. You can look out for healthier choice sign when you order your coffee. You may also want to start your day with a cup of stronger coffee, that would be coffee gum. What if I want to have my coffee lighter? That would be coffee pulp. If you care for cold coffee, you can simply bing anything by adding the word right behind your order. For example, copy O bing, copy C koso bing. Now, let's put into practice. First, take a look on copy O sudai. Remember, O means black coffee without condensed milk. So it should be black coffee with only a pinch of sugar. And how about copy C koso? A coffee with evaporated milk but no sugar. That's your order. Now we have learned a variety of coffee, but what if your guests say? Americano, please. Remember what we just learned now? Can you help them out? Yes, in Singapore, it's coffee o kosong. What about a latte? It's coffee si kosong in Singapore. The whole logic can be applied to tea too. Simply replace coffee with tea, which means tea in both Malay and Hokkien. If you want to figure out your favorite style of coffee called in Singapore, you cannot miss out the website we're going to show you. You may go over all the combinations to find a cup of coffee fitting your own preference. As a tour guide, have you been asked on any questions that we haven't covered in our video about coffee culture and types? You can feel free to share in the discussion forum down below. Now that you have watched the videos, please scan the QR code to complete the test of coffee. Thank you all for watching. Let's cheers and coffee.